Analysis of Case 3032 BSL-1 Stationary Low Power Reactor On January 3, 1961, the facility at Idaho Falls underwent a critical maintenance procedure. The objective was to manually reconnect the central cadmium control rod to its drive mechanism during a shutdown. In this nuclear system, the rod acts as the primary brake. Engineering protocols were absolute. The rod could be lifted no more than 4 inches to maintain a subcritical state. Forensic reconstruction confirms that at 9.01 p.m., the rod was withdrawn 20 inches. This deviation removed neutron absorption capability, causing the core to go prompt critical in just 4 milliseconds. The coolant water flash boiled into high-pressure steam instantly. A massive water hammer struck the vessel lid with 10,000 psi, shearing the piping and launching the 26,000-pound vessel 9 feet into the air. Total Structural Annihilation 